competitor Izzy Asper didn't see them coming. Here's the story. NBC 33 out of this world. It's television's biggest show, the industry's annual carnival in New Orleans. Hey, it's great to be here at Netby. Where stars and producers push programs old and new. I have a show this year. Every year, Data Fleming's got a show. <laughs> there are 18,000 people here from around the world. Looking for 480. There is one from Brandon, Manitoba. Here we go. Here we down this way. This 30-something television executive may look a little lost at times as he shops for shows. So here's a clip I'll show you. But Drew Craig represents a family that seems to know exactly where it's going. Hmm. We'll just keep going where the opportunities are. My dad's given us an opportunity to build a company, and that's what we want to do. And we want to just keep going and keep going and keep building. You can't call the Craigs the new kids on television's block. After all, the family's been in the broadcasting business for almost half a century. But for most of that time, they stuck pretty close to home base in one corner of Manitoba, running a small but successful string of radio and TV stations. Now, they're pushing out, both east and west, and their plans have people in the industry tuning in and watching. Oh, yeah. There are many flamboyant personalities in the broadcasting business. NBC 33, out of this world. None in Brandon's Craig family. We got enough coffee here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Stuart Craig, along with his sons, runs the business from Brandon quietly. A public fight with another broadcaster doesn't fit the Craig style. So we'll see what happens. Now, community calendar on 1150 Kicks. Brandon is still small enough that the managing editor of the local paper can still know just about everything about everybody. Linda Rossa did it. And Brian Marshall has known the contradiction named Stuart Craig all his life. Stuart Craig could be lost in a crowd of five. He's a very laid back, quiet individual, uh, but don't let that uh, deceive you because underneath that, that quiet, uh, almost shy exterior, uh, and I said he's kind of sullen and somber at times, but uh, is, the, is, is probably one of the most brilliant business minds of our time. A Channel. Television for Alberta. The Craigs stunned the industry when they scooped up television licenses for the lucrative Calgary and Edmonton markets. News coverage in Alberta has a new face. They did their homework and won the stations Izzy Asper was counting on for the CanWest global system. High drama? Not to the Craigs. They believe their company hit that wall many small business owners know all too well. Grow or die. A lot of the smaller players have disappeared. Uh, a lot of the small family-owned CBC affiliate stations have uh, have gone away or sold out, and uh, so it was it was appearing that way to us that that we really had to get larger to survive in this industry. Craig's have always made bold decisions work. Ninety minutes overtime it went, and I'm on the air all the time. In the late 1940s, grandfather J. B. Craig tried radio announcing for fun. Then he bought the station and later expanded into television in Brandon. And viewers in western Manitoba had television for the first time. Son, Stewart, cracked the valuable Winnipeg market, adding another TV station based in Portage La Prairie. And the company became an important Manitoba player. Now the third generation is playing with the big boys and waiting for word on their bid for yet another station in Vancouver. How big do they want to be? We have no real ambitions to provide a network service across the country. We want we can see a series of independent stations operating autonomously in their own markets. From its base in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Izzy Asper's CanWest Global is trying to build and own a new national network. But Alberta, the country's third largest market, has always been a crucial missing link. And when the regulators gave the Craigs, Calgary and Edmonton, Asper's dream had a hole in it as big as a province. We've worked very hard. Um, we think we, we earn we, we've earned whatever we ask for frankly back in new orleans is the asper's son david is doing the deals for can west global david asper, how you doing? the aspers argue the craigs who promise to spend millions on drama productions are too small to keep those big commitments it's a massive risk not only a financial risk but a regulatory risk because obviously if they can't distribute the programs and they can't afford to make the programs they say they're going to make then they can't meet their license obligations can West is desperately lobbying the federal cabinet, trying to persuade ministers they must overrule the regulators and prevent the Craigs from getting the Alberta stations. The decision is due any day now. The Craigs have answered back with an expensive newspaper ad suggesting Can West is a sore loser, now playing politics. 
We've never made a promise that we haven't been able to keep. Uh, when we were licensed in Manitoba, there were a lot of skeptical people. Uh, a lot of people said we couldn't do it. We've done it. We've been, we've been very successful. Can they keep doing it? Stretching into new provinces, doubling the size of the company, while spending millions on new Canadian programming. Ready one with graphic? It's hard to say. There is very little, but the Craigs say they have a solid base. All their buildings, all their equipment, they say it's all paid for. And those who know the Craigs wouldn't bet against them. They're not ones to beat your chest too much. I mean, that's not their style. They just go about their business in a quiet, efficient, and almost deadly manner. Because I don't think, they, as I said before, I don't think they've ever lost anything yet. What is Craig Broadcast Systems worth? I would think it would be in excess of $50 million right now. And looking forward? Probably 100 Maybe more. Some of that could come from a new source of revenue. Cut this cable to break the wired traditions of... The Craigs are pioneering a new way to deliver cable-type service without wires. In rural Manitoba, customers are quickly signing on. For a wireless digital microwave system. And the Craigs are preparing to compete head-to-head -head with cable companies in other areas including Canada's biggest TV market, Southern Ontario. So this has to look right directly, right oh. directly at the tower. Want to know more? So do Canada's cable companies. But the Craigs are keeping those plans quiet. So The TV industry is finally starting to notice the Craigs. Okay, I have a dumb question. Is Portage La Prairie close to Winnipeg? Yeah. Okay. And whether or not they hang on to Alberta, the quiet Craigs expect to attract much more attention as they keep expanding their empire. There's opportunities there, and we're going to take them as they come along. Guaranteed. You'll hear from us again. For Venture, I'm Havard Gould.